The Worcester Rugby Football Club is an English rugby union club, nicknamed Warriors. The club's first team play in the Aviva Premiership. They have also competed in the Anglo-Welsh Cup, European Rugby Cup, British and Irish Cup and Aviva A League competitions. The club's kit is made by sports manufacturer Cougar, who they signed to a four-year deal in 2012 to produce home and away strips for the Aviva Premiership, as well as a third design for use in cup competitions. They are sponsored by Worcester Bosch and Fragrance Mad. Their home stadium is the 6A Stadium, and the team colors are blue and gold. History equals Foundation equals, The club was founded in 1871 by the Reverend Francis John Ead, with the first known game played against the Royal Artillery Rugby Club on November 8, 1871. This game was played on Pitchcroft. The club began playing at Bevere in Worcester in 1954 and left Bevere for six days in 1975 when the clubhouse was opened. When the league system was formed, the club was placed in North Midlands Division 1, a level 8 league. Equals support equals, due to extensive support from their backer Cecil Duckworth, the club were able to build a strong team, with promotion after promotion following. In 2006, extremely ambitious plans were announced for a £23 million development programme, which would see a health club with fitness centre and swimming pool, fully tar milk park and ride area, and expanded capacity, estimated to be 13,000. Equals promotion to the Premiership equals. Worcester Warriors were promoted to the Premiership after winning National Division 1 in 2003 a Euro 04 with a perfect record of 26 wins from 26 games, something that had never before been achieved. They were the bookies, and many of the rugby pundits odds on favourites to go straight back down but defied the odds to stay in the Premiership for another season, finishing ninth in the league, after wins against teams including Harlequins, Leeds, a historic victory against Premiership champions London Wasps and Northampton in a winner-takes-all end-of-season finale, which they won 21 a Euro 19. This match was shown live with more twists and turns off the pitch as well as on it, with then Northampton player, Shane Drum, who had signed for Worcester eventually starting, and successfully kicking almost everything, after press releases by Northampton stating that he would be a substitute. In the 2004 Euro 05 season, despite Premiership survival being their ultimate aim, they reached the final of the defunct European Shield at Oxford's Kassam Stadium, after beating Leeds Tykes in the semi-final. They eventually lost out to the French side Orch. They also managed to achieve a playoff match for the Heineken Cup against Saracens, but their long fight for Premiership survival and an injury-ravaged squad meant that they lost. Their achievements for that season meant that they had achieved much more than they had originally hoped for, as well as earning the respect of the other Premiership sides in the process. In the 2005 Euro 06 season, they reached the quarter Euro finals of the European Challenge Cup after finishing top of their pool with five wins out of a possible six, above Connacht, Montpellier Har copyright Ralt and Amitri Catania, and faced an away match against Northampton Saints on April Fool's Day, which they won in what was described by sports writers as some of the best rugby they have played all season. They reached the semi-Euro finals where they faced Gloucester rugby in a local derby showdown, it being the third time they had played Gloucester that season, with the European match being played the week after the Premiership match at Kingsham. Despite playing some thrilling rugby, and looking much more solid as a team than the previous week's Premiership performance, they were knocked out of the competition. The European Challenge Cup was then a much more important competition to Worcester as it offered them a route into the Heineken Cup. In the 2005 Euro 06 Guinness Premiership, they avoided relegation and were safe much earlier in the season, which meant that they avoided a repeat of last year's relegation battle on the last day of the season. The season culminated in an eighth place finish in the league on 47 points, one place higher than 2004 Euro 05 with the same amount of wins but more bonus points and a draw, missing 7th position due to Newcastle Falcons having a better points difference, secured on the last day of the season. This was a huge achievement considering that this is still only their second season in rugby's top flight. In the 2006 Euro 07 season Worcester didn't get off to a very good start and for the majority of the season they were positioned in 12th place, 
but a good run of form which involved beating some of the top sides in the Premiership, helping them to avoid relegation and send the former Heineken Cup champions Northampton Saints down into National Division 1. Equals established in the Premiership equals, for the 2007-08 Euro season Worcester had brought in several big-name players, the best known being the all-black Rico Gear. But they again didn't start off very well in the Premiership and did not record their first victory until after Christmas. While they were struggling in the Premiership they were enjoying good success in the European Challenge Cup, progressing through the group stages. After Christmas their Premiership formed picked up and they beat top teams such as Leicester Tigers and Sale Sharks, which subsequently saw them move out of the relegation zone, Leeds Carnegie replacing them. They progressed even further in the ECC and beat off Montpellier Ha copyright Ralt RC in the quarter-final and saw off Newcastle Falcons in the semi-final which set up a final against Bath. Leeds Carnegie could not survive relegation and were relegated well before the end of the season. The final against Bath resulted in a 24 a 16 defeat in a one-sided game. In 2008 Worcester pulled off one of their largest signings ever by signing Australian international Chris Latham from the Queensland Reds, for the 2008-09 Euro season on a three-year deal. He is regarded as the greatest Reds player as well as the best Wallabies fullback. The season again didn't go the way it was planned but Worcester still progressed in the ECC and pulled off home and away victories over local rivals Gloucester and London Wasps in the league. However the season ended disappointingly losing in the semi-final of the European Challenge Cup to Bourgoin. Equals relegation from the Premiership equals, after the disappointment of the 2008 Euro 09 Guinness Premiership season, the Warriors made a bright start to the 2009 Euro 10 Guinness Premiership season. Either side of a loss to Wasps, they had convincing wins over newly promoted Leeds Carnegie and over Sale Sharks. Only their second home win over Sale since they joined the top flight in 2004 a Euro 05, which was then followed by an unlucky loss at champions Leicester Tigers. A poor spell followed with ten games without a win. During the winless spell, the club did become the first Premiership team to draw four games in a season and the first team to draw three successive league games. Following this bad spell, the Warriors secured a much-needed 13 a Euro 0 victory over Newcastle at 6 A's, before another six consecutive losses. On April 25, the Warriors were relegated from the Premiership after a 12 a Euro 10 loss away to Leeds Carnegie, their first relegation in 22 years. They played the 2010 a Euro 11 season in the Championship with Richard Hill as the new head coach, on a two-year contract and Chris Pennell as the new captain. Equals return to the Premiership equals, the 2010 Euro 11 season saw Worcester win 30 out of 31 games in the Championship, losing the only game to the Cornish Pirates in the main season at 6 A's. Worcester were top of the league and top of their Stage 2 group. After winning the playoff against Bedford Blues at 6 A's in the both legs of the playoff final, Worcester secured promotion to the Premiership for the 2011 Euro 12 season. Before the season began, there were local news reports that Worcester Warriors aimed to build a Hilton Hotel on the 6A site, whilst also building a health and leisure facility and potentially expanding the North Stand. Hill left the Warriors in April 2013 and was replaced by Dean Ryan. Equals rivalries equals, Worcester have developed two main rivalries in their recent history with Gloucester and Rotherham. The rivalry with Rotherham stemmed from the clubs meeting each other numerous times in the championship between 1998 and 2003. Since Worcester gained promotion to the championship in 1998 the two clubs were constantly at the top end of the table together, battling for the solitary promotion place. In the four seasons they were both in the league, between 1998 and 2003, Rotherham finished second once and first three times whilst Worcester finished third twice and second twice. Due to both teams consistently doing well in the league and tensions between the two clubs high off the pitch, the games often attracted bigger crowds and greater media interest than usual. The importance of the clashes and the rivalry that developed led to the two clubs being dubbed the Celtic and Rangers of their division. After two close league games in the 2001-2002 season, 
which saw Worcester win the game at 6 A's in September by two points thanks to a Tim Walsh drop goal and Retherham win the game at Clifton Lane in January by 10 points the rivalry peaked the following season, 2002 March. Retherham had won the 2001-02 championship losing just two games with Worcester finishing second having lost three games. However, Retherham were denied promotion based on the fact that their stadium, Clifton Lane, was not at the required standard. To rectify this and meet Premiership Stadium criteria, in time for the 2002 March season Retherham moved stadiums to Milmu and shared it with Retherham United FC. The first meeting of the 2002-03 campaign between the two teams came at Milmu on 23 November. Despite being fairly early on in the season, a big five-point win for Retherham in front of over 4,000 fans, including a sizable away following from Worcester, was a huge step in Retherham winning the league and gaining promotion. This encounter was yet again a very heated and physical battle. Worcester were well on top during the first half and went into the interval 13-6 ahead thanks to a Chris Garrard try and some excellent game management from fly half Tim Walsh. However, the second half was a completely different affair and with Worcester's Chris Garrard sent off for a dangerous tackle on Jacob Rallini and Mark Gebison binned, Ratherham, spurred on by their biggest and most vociferous crowd of the season, scored 32 unanswered points including four tries to complete a demolition of Worcester. Despite the big win for Retherham at Milmu, Worcester only lost one game until the two teams met again at 6 A's in April, winning 12 league games and losing only away to Orel. This ensured they kept in contact with Retherham at the top of the table. The game at 6 A's was the third last game of the season and, with the sides neck and neck in the league, the winner would almost certainly gain a place in the Premiership. Worcester had gone 20 games and 18 months since their last home loss, which was to Retherham in September 2001. The game was the first championship match to be broadcast live on Sky Sports and the game also saw the record attendance for a championship game, with temporary stands constructed to ensure 5,700 fans could watch. Retherham brought a 1,000-strong contingent, almost all of whom were sat in the north stand at 6 A's, in what was virtual segregation. The first half of the game was extremely tense, with Retherham leading 9-3 at half-time. However the second half saw Retherham score two tries in ten minutes which put the game out of Worcester's reach. Retherham went on to win the game 21-9, which sparked wild celebrations and a pitch invasion from the Retherham fans. Retherham are often considered as Worcester's rivals by those fans who watched Worcester before 2004. However, because Worcester's average attendances have more than doubled since then, a large percentage of the Worcester fan base, many of them newer supporters, see Gloucester as Worcester's main rivals. This is predominantly because of playing them regularly since gaining promotion to the Premiership in 2004, the geographical closeness of the two cities and various media sources citing the game as a derby. However, despite playing Gloucester regularly, Many Worcester fans see the rivalry as a media made one and on the whole, Gloucester fans do not see Worcester as a rivalry or derby at all. Many Gloucester fans say that Bath, Bristol, Exeter and Leicester are bigger derby matches than the ones versus Worcester. Current standings. Current squad. 2015-16 Note. Flags indicate national union as has been defined under WR eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-WR nationality. Equals Academy squad equals, note, flags indicate national union as has been defined under WR eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-WR nationality. Rugby World Cup, the following are players which have represented their countries at the World Cup, whilst playing for Worcester. Current coaching staff, Dean Ryan a Euro Director of Rugby, Carl Hogg a Euro Head Coach. Sam Besty a Euro backs coach, Simon Cross a Euro defense coach, Siri Jones a Euro scrum coach, Mark Hewitt a Euro skill development and academy manager, Paul Warwick a Euro transition coach, Mephin Davis, transition coach, Gordon Ross, transition coach. Notable former players. Club honors, North Midlands Cup winners 1977-78. North Midlands Division 1 Champions 1989-90, 1990, 
Midlands Division 2 Champions 1992-93, Midlands Division 1 Champions 1994-95, North Midlands Cup winners 1995 Euro 96, Courage League Division 5 North Champions 1995-96, Courage League Division 4 North Champions 1996-97, Juice and National League 1 Champions 1997-98, North Midlands Cup winners 1997-98, Powerline Floodlit. Cup winners 1997-98, National Division 2 Champions 1999-2000, National Division 1 Champions 2003-04. RFU Championship Champions 2010-11, British and Irish Cup Winners 2014-15, RFU Championship Champions 2014-15. Equals Top Flight Seasons equals Charitable Causes, Cecil Duckworth is a trustee of the Wooden Spoon, the charity of British rugby, supporting disadvantaged children. In January 2007, Worcester opened a Playing for Success Centre, Supported by Spoon. See also, Worcester Bosch Group. References. External links, official site, Come On You Warriors, unofficial supporters site on Sport Network, independent supporters site, official club sponsor, Fragrance Mad, BBC Rugby Union, Guinness Premiership, European Rugby, Worcester News.